The stone in this problem is released from rest, falling and causing the pulley to turn. We're asked to find how far the stone needs to fall, call it a distance h, so that the pulley acquires a kinetic energy of four and a half joules. We'll solve this problem using the work and energy equation, the work done by other forces, plus the initial kinetic energies, translational and rotational, plus the initial potential energies, equals the final energies. If we call the stone's initial height y equals zero, then there's no initial gravitational potential energy. The system starts from rest, so there's no initial kinetic energies, and there are no other forces doing work, so this term is also zero. So we have zero equals the sum of the final energies. The final translational kinetic energy is due to the stone's motion, so that's one half little m v squared, where v is how fast it's moving. The final rotational kinetic energy is one half i omega squared, due to the pulley's rotation. And the final gravitational potential is minus mgh, minus because the stone ends up below the y equals zero mark. We're told that the pulley's rotational kinetic energy is four and a half joules, and we're asked to find h, which we could do except that we don't know how fast the stone is moving at that point. We don't know v. So let's come down here and use the rotational kinetic energy to find omega, which we can use to find how fast the stone is falling at that same point. The moment of inertia for a solid disk is one half mr squared. Solve this for omega squared. Substituting the known values. And taking the square root to see that omega is 13.4 radians per second when the pulley has four and a half joules of kinetic energy. Now we can solve for v sub t, the tangential speed of a point on the pulley's rim. That's r omega. And this v sub t equals the speed that the stone is falling because the string unwinds without slipping. And calculate this to see that v sub t is 2.68 meters per second. And that's also v, how fast the stone's moving. So now we come back up and solve for the height h. It equals this expression. Substitute all the known values. And calculate to see that the stone falls a distance of 0 0.673 meters when the pulley has acquired 4.5 joules of kinetic energy. And that's the answer to part A. Part B asks us to find the fraction of the total kinetic energy that's due to the pulley's rotational motion. The total kinetic energy is the sum of the translational plus the rotational. The translational is due to the stone, half mv squared, and the rotational is due to the pulley, it's four and a half joules. That gives us this total. The fraction due to the pulley's motion is then its kinetic energy divided by the total, which works out to 45 and a half percent.